Over the weekend, Nkwere in Imo State stood still as a late Dr. Jonas Iheje to Awojo was laid to rest in his country home. It was a carnival-like burial, though the late Dr. Jonas happens to be the father-in-law of ex-beauty queen Poede Awojo. Let's see how the event went, the event that had lots of Igbo billionaires in attendance. <laughs> The late Dr. Jonas Ihejeto Awujo was born in 1945 and passed in 2024 at the ripe age of 79. I mean, little wonder his children went all out to ensure he was given a befitting burial as tradition demands. I know a lot of my non-Nigerian followers are always asking why are burials in nigeria so colorful well it is our custom it is our culture except a person died really really young most times people are so sad but as long as the man lived above 70 he has lots of children grandchildren trust me it's going to be like a carnival if the money is available and of course the Awujo spared no cost in ensuring that guests were treated to mouth-watering foods, desserts, small chops, pastries, name them, a good time was indeed had. Not to forget of course they had fresh juice, parfait. When I say this event was lit, I mean every word of it. Let's see other aspects of this event, I beg. I know I love food, that's why I'm just emphasizing on the food, but... We have the body of the late chief doctor Jonas Awujo leaving his compound to the church where a funeral service was conducted. You can see his first son in white. It is him that majority of the dignitaries actually came on his behalf. And of course, they had like this beautiful pallbearers from Apams ensuring people were thrilled and the venue for the reception was really beautiful these days a lot of people don't really like you know hosting people during events or traditional marriages burials in their country homes for security reasons most times and then sometimes people will just be entering all the rooms so it's better you hire a hall do everything there so from the hall self if you just use title them say where they work out and guys the live band was lit i am a huge fan of live band so hey let me just keep quiet and let you enjoy the live band because it was a lot of fun with all the billionaires including maria chike's uh, sugar boy i be Baby Papa, yeah.
Obama chief priest really learns the hard way. He doesn't even carry cash around at all. <laughs> Most of these praise singers are glorified beggars, my goodness. Close mouths indeed do not get fed. You can tell that these people shall got their money from these big men. Well, a win-win. Ask and you shall receive. A bit. <laughs> Looks like A. Nawigwe is kind of related to the family because I know he played the role of best man when Powede got married to her husband a few years ago. So here we have the children of the disease raising their father's pictures. It's a symbolic tradition in Igbo land. Like you raise your father's pictures to show people the man you are celebrating, the man you are mourning. And here we have the children, their wives having a great time. Mm -hmm. Looks like the diseased didn't marry quite early or maybe he's been having kids pretty late. Because I mean for someone that is 79 he should have really older kids. But well, it is what it is. What matters is his children are doing so well and they give their father a premium burial. One for the books. His father will be smiling. So excited. I am 100% sure of that. Yes, I recall after my grandmom's um, the funeral that night my dad saw her in her dream and she was like you made me proud you made me so happy but those around me we are hailing me telling me how ah, my children have done great so yes this thing is this i know some of you will be like oh what's that well sometimes i don't really like talking about some mystical experiences because i know that people won't believe occasions there will be so much alcohol but little food like how do you expect people to drink so much when they don't have a lot to eat <laughs> I actually know who this king is. He used to be a staff of ExxonMobil Port Harcourt. <laughs> Quiet. 
quite an interesting guy, Sha, but he's pride there. He did like say, eh, he carry 20 bags of cement for body, as you see, I'm so. <laughs> I recall when his mom passed a few years ago. Hmm, it was lit. I don't like when people I don't know so well come and talk with microphone where I'm eating. Like, how do you expect this person to continue eating? Um, to be very honest, I don't even know what is going on here. Make I don't like you now. Well, I guess the man is comfortable. I beg enough. Go away, sir. Are you feeling sensational? Besides being an ex beauty queen, Poe Day is a pilot. Yes, she drives planes. Well, from society hotspots, we say sorry to the family. We wish them the best. We thank God for a successful burial ceremony and we hope that people who came returned home in one piece. Guys, look at this cow. Hey, God. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. So, if you got to this point, kudos. You tried. Because, I mean, this is not like a conventional post, but I just love to vlog about different things. Not necessarily people that are famous. I mean, we can't all be famous. We can't be about people who are famous all the time this is called society hotspot all things society hmm guys do you think i should do a lot of celebrity gossip